going to be looking at solids, liquids and gases and how a simple kinetic model can be used to describe melting, boiling and evaporation. Here we can see the arrangement of the particles for a solid, liquid and gas. And you can see that the spacing between the particles increases as you go from solid to liquid to gas. The ordering of the particles, that is the arrangement of the particles, starts with it being well ordered, a set regular arrangement of the particles, to a liquid being less ordered, less regular arrangement, to being disordered, no order of the particles, no regular arrangement of the particles. We now consider the motion of the particles. For a solid, they have a restricted motion, that is, they vibrate about a fixed point. They have no translational moment as they cannot move from one point to another. For a liquid, they still have vibrational motion, but there is some translational motion. They can move, slide past each other. Whereas for a gas, there's no vibrational motion. There's just all translational moving from one place to another, but the motion is free and fast and random. The kinetic model of matter states that matter is made up of a large number of atoms or molecules that are in constant motion. For a solid to become a liquid, the particles need to have enough kinetic energy so that they can break some of the bonds with their neighbours. So the particles become less ordered, that is more disordered, so the average spacing between the particles increases and the particles are free now to move around the bulk of the substance, meaning it's in the liquid phase. For a liquid to boil into a gas, the particles need to have enough kinetic energy to break free from their neighbours. So the particles become much further apart and they move freely and rapidly but in a disordered state. So they are in the gas phase. Evaporation is when a liquid changes into a gas below its boiling point. So at the surface of the liquid, it's the particles that are moving faster. They have enough kinetic energy to break free from the bulk of the liquid. And so these particles form a vapour above the liquid. That is, they form a gas which is below its boiling point above the liquid. However, some of the vapour particles do come in contact with the surface of the liquid and return back to the liquid. However, there is a net flow of the high kinetic energy particles leaving the liquid, and this results in the liquid cooling down, and this is because the average kinetic energy of the liquid particles will have decreased. Eventually, all the particles will evaporate, as they'll all have gained enough kinetic energy, and that is from collisions from the other particles in the liquid, to escape the liquid surface.